And the Nepal's devastating quake has released ripples of shock and worry affecting many in the Nepali community living here in Korea. They're worried and grief-stricken, desperately waiting for contact from their loved ones back home. Shin Samin has more. One by one, they say goodbye. These Nepali men and women have gathered to pay respect to the lives lost in one of the strongest quakes to hit their home country. Among them is Ang Tendi Shepra, who came to Korea seven months ago. He says the quake broke his 11 year old son's leg and took the lives of 10 of his friends, who he used to climb Mount Everest with. I haven't been able to talk to my son since the quake. I used to be on the phone with him twice a day. It's been hard for me. Like Shepra's family, misfortune has hit the homes of thousands like his. Arjun Hamal is a cook at a local restaurant. His wife and two children are now refugees camping out in tent shelters in Kathmandu, fearing their cracked home will collapse at any moment. Little bit cracked my home, and then uh, they are sleeping outside, not uh, an electrical, not a water, and then uh, not a food. Uh, little bit uh, difficult. Although he confirmed that his family members are safe, he is far from relieved as he can't get back to them during this tough time. Some 28,000 Nepalis are either working or studying in Korea. And while they may be far from home, helping hands are busily working to console and help them as they deal with their loss. The embassy of Nepal in Seoul says it has been receiving an outpouring of support from locals and civic groups. I'm meeting this afternoon with the executive director of the Korean Airlines. He is the vice president of the airlines as well. And I will take up the matters uh, regarding the transportation of the relief materials and some other means of assistance, whatever they can extend to us. Organizations in Korea have begun collecting money and daily necessities to send to Nepal. Every little bit helps for those pulling out bodies or survivors trying to cope with the situation. Everything from medical kits, batteries, everything is of help for those people in desperate need. Shin Samin, Arirang News.